York Archbishop John Meyer's slow emergence from media silence is doing little to shed light on the church's role in the Father Mike Fuji case. That's what critics of Myers are saying today as they repeat their calls for his resignation. It's typical Archbishop John Myers. Uh, once again, he deflects all criticism from himself, deflects all criticism from the Archdiocese of Newark, from the priest who molested the child, and he talks about things like review boards and protocols and uh, uh, things that are, that are tangential to the, to the essential issue here. In an interview with the National Catholic Register, Myers admitted that the church dropped the ball on properly monitoring Fuji, who was arrested in May for allegedly violating a memorandum of understanding with the Bergen County Prosecutor's Office that required him to stay away from children. Myers said that in the future, the church would not enter into a memorandum of understanding that places a burden on the church. The state, he says, has more resources. Jay Fahey, a former Bergen County prosecutor, now in private practice, told us today that the church did indeed violate the agreement, but that barring a smoking gun, he didn't expect the church as a corporation or Archbishop Myers as its head to face any charges. At the end of the day, I think Fuji is going to end up pleading guilty to something, probably get probation, maybe an extended period of uh, uh, probation, but at least the message, uh, uh, the message has been sent. Do you think, I mean, do you, do you really think that, that the message has been sent? Uh, we've had three people that have resigned in the church. There were calls in various newspapers and various legislators around the state uh, to ask the head of the archdiocese to resign. So I think the church finally has gotten the message on this. But Father James Connell, a retired priest and canon law expert, doesn't think the church has gotten the message at all. That's a lot of resignations going on if it was just a matter of policies and procedures. I suspect there's more substance to these resignations and the monitoring that didn't do the lack of monitoring in this situation. The current Bergen County prosecutor had no comment today. The investigation into the Fuji matter is technically ongoing. Fuji still works at the archdiocese but cannot function as a priest. The archdiocese maintains that he has not been convicted of any crime and will wait for a decision from the prosecutor before revisiting his status. Critics say the Archdiocese and the Archbishop left a lot of questions unanswered. A spokesperson for the Archdiocese said today they had no other media interviews planned. The Archbishop stands by his statement, he said, and will have nothing further to add. For NJ Today, I'm David Cruz.